Here's how to create cinematic AI filmmaking effects that used to cost studios millions. But now with Nano Banana and Kling, you can do it yourself in just a few clicks. In this video, I'll show you nine effects that can turn your ideas into cinematic stories. And the best part is, when you combine these effects, you can create mind-blowing results far more powerful than just using them on their own. So for the following video, I combined two effects. Let's start with the first one, the transformation effect. I began with this base image of a lone female explorer using the following prompt. You can pause the video to fully read it. Then I used this as an input image with Nano Banana with the prompt, turn the woman into a Medusa-like sea creature with her hair turned into tentacles and scales showing on her skin to create this image. The key to creating great visual effects is knowing which tool to use. For this shot, I used the start to end frame tool in both Kling and Iluo. With the prompt, the woman's skin starts to transform into glowing scales her hair turns into tentacles and she makes a hissing expression. Later in this video, I'll also use the image to video tool that works better for certain effects. Comparing the Kling and Hyluo videos side by side, the Hyluo version turned out best, so I chose this one to connect it with the next effect I will show you, the disintegration effect. So for this, I will use the end frame from the last video and use Nano Banana to get a clean background plate for this effect to work. And I'm using Nano Banana on Open Art. And here in the image tab, I've got the Nano Banana model selected. I'm using the prompt remove the Medusa like woman and leave only the background. Then you can see I've dragged the image from the Medusa woman in here. And now I will set the output size to widescreen 16 by 9. And I will set it to two images. And that gives us this result. And now on Open Art in the video tab, I've got the Kling 2.1 model selected. And as a start frame, I've got this image. And as the end frame, I've got this image. With the prompt, the Medusa-like woman with tentacle hair completely disintegrates into sand as she screams in fear. And now the cool thing on open art is that you can turn on automatic sound, which will create cool sound effects for our video. So I will set the duration to five seconds and leave the quality mode to pro and hit create. And this is why I like working on open art because here I can use all the models and effects that I need under one subscription. And then in a free version of Resolve, I used the smooth cut to make a transition to both videos. I applied a speed ramp effect, which I'll explain in more detail later in the video. Then I added the sound effects in the right place, giving me this final result. In my opinion, this is a really great shot and the speed ramp effect gives it that finishing touch. Before we dive into the video where I combined four effects together, Keep in mind that each of those effects also works on its own, I want to show you four more effects you can also use in AI filmmaking. So the next effect is the aerial zoom out effect. And I got inspired by this by my YouTube buddy Tao Proms, who made a cool shot of a bird flying through a green forest that zooms out all the way to a green planet in outer space. So I created this image of a boat using this prompt. And I used this as an input image for Nano Banana. And I used the prompt generate an image of the whole earth from space. And then I used the start to end frame tool from Kling with the prompt, the camera zooms out starting from the aerial view of the ship to the earth in outer space. And then we got this video, which started off really well, but then all of a sudden it creates a sort of a double world. And I think it is because there's a layer of earth and the water and the AI really doesn't know how to deal with that. So let's move on to the fly through zoom effect. And for this in Nano Banana, I used this input image with the prompt, change the angle to capture the abandoned ship head on. And we got this image. Then to create this image, I used these two input images with the prompt side profile shot of the woman sitting inside this abandoned ship. And then with the start to end frame tool from Kling, I used the prompt, the camera zooms in from outside the ship into the woman sitting inside the ship. And then we got this shot, which is a bit slow because I set the duration to 10 seconds, but you could fix this with the speed ramp effect if you want it to go a bit faster. For the explosion effect, I used the same image as before, but now with the image to video model from Kling, because for this effect, that works much better. And I used the prompt, the abandoned ship suddenly explodes, casting a large fireball and smoke into the sky, while the camera pulls backward to show the vast sea. The ship then slowly sinks into the water. I'm actually quite impressed with this shot. Sure, the ship sinks a little too fast into the water. And of course, it's not on the same level as when a full VFX team spends weeks perfecting a single shot, but still, it's definitely usable in a project where you need an explosion effect. Now let's move on to the cinematic relighting effect, which is great for example if you want to change a daylight into a night scene. 
And for this, to create this image, I used these two images with the following prompt. And you can pause the video if you want, because I'm going to move on to the relighting prompt. And for that I used, change the lighting to nighttime, beams of moonlight coming from above, dark blue night sky. Before I use this image in the sequence where I combine four effects, I want to give you a quick nano banana tip for when your image doesn't come out realistic enough. For example, sometimes the image turns out in a sort of animation style, although your base images are realistic. And then the tip is to look through your prompt and search for words that might trigger this, and in this case that was ethereal. And then we used the same prompt without ethereal, and then we got this shot, and this looks very realistic. For the sequence with four effects, I made two versions. The ending from the one on the left is more reliable. You'll usually get the result in a few tries. The ending from the one on the right is where I aim for perfection, testing different models and prompts until I finally got the ideal shot. And that's why I want to show you both approaches. Since both start with the same effects, let's begin with the first one, the object highlighting effect. So for this effect to work, we need a dark scene. That's why I'm using the relighted input image in Nano Banana. And the prompt, zoom into the book, the woman has written a text in a mythical language. Then I use this as the input image. With the prompt, create a glowing outline around the book in gold. The golden glow lights up its surrounding. And then in Kling, I use this as the start frame and this as the end frame. With the prompt, camera zooms in, animate the golden lines to outline the book. And I used a 5 second duration and that gives us this video. So for the magical levitation effect, I used this as the input image in Nano Banana. With the prompt, the book is floating in mid-air, the pages are flipping on its own and the book is emitting a glow. So with Kling I used this as the start frame and this is the end frame. With the prompt, the camera pulls backward as the book starts glowing and floating up in mid-air. The pages are flipping rapidly while some pages fly out of it. And that gives us this video and I am very excited about the shot. And especially when we will use the speed ramp effect on it, it will look very good. For the portal morph effect, I used this as the input image in Nano Banana. With the prompt, remove the woman from the image. And then I used this input image. With the prompt, a portal emerges from the ebook. And then we got this result. And I am very excited about this image. The portal looks really good and there are even some pages flying around the portal. And then with Kling, I used this as the start frame and this as the end frame. With the prompt, the book morphs into a portal. The woman then gets absorbed into the portal. After two tries, we got this video. It looks good, but I was hoping the woman would actually fly into the portal. So before I show you how I stitched it all together and added the speed ramp effect, I'll quickly show you the version where she flies into the portal. So for this to work, I need the shot of the woman in front of the portal. So I already had these input images, so I used the Manano Banana with the prompt, put the woman from image 1 in the same position into image 2, Replace the book with the portal. And that brings us to the fourth effect, the portal absorption effect. And for this I used image to video. And I tried it with Kling, Hailuo, VO3, but nothing really worked. Then I used the model 1 2.2 with the prompt, the woman gets absorbed into the portal and then the portal closes. I really like this shot, but it took a few generations to get. So I can't 100% guarantee you get the same effect at home. Now let's see how I stitch everything together in the free version of Resolve. Here's the first Kling video and here the second Kling video. And for the transition in between, I used the smooth cut effect. Finally, here's the last Kling video where the woman flies into the portal. And since I didn't have a video of the book morphing into the portal, I used the nano banana images I already had to create this video. And then I exported this sequence and imported this into Resolve again. By right clicking on the video and selecting Retime Controls, you can add speed points by left clicking the little black arrow. As you can see, I've already set this up. Once you place the speed points where you want the speed ramp, you can drag the gray handle to the left to increase the speed. You can take it a step further by using the keyframe editor to smooth out the speed ramp. But that's outside the scope of this video. Now let's have a look at the final result. I think this shot turned out really well and the speed ramp adds the perfect finishing touch to tie all the effects together. The only downside is that when the magical book appears, the character looks a little less realistic and more like a 3D render. On my other YouTube channel, I created a video testing all the major AI video generators on the four most important tasks. In that video, I also compare some of the videos from this tutorial and show you where each AI video model shines and where it falls short. 